it's Casey. So today we are back in the kitchen and I'm going to make a pie. I'm going to submit this to the county fair to see if I win any ribbons. I've chosen a cranberry apple pie, which is actually one of my all time favorites. The pie crust recipe I use is from my mom's 1970s Betty Crocker cookbook, Tried and True, uses flour and lard, which is obviously super healthy. And so I'll show you how I do it. Let's get started. We'll mix the pie crust dough first. So I'm using a pastry cutter to cut the shortening into the flour salt mixture. The key of working with pie crust dough is to handle it as little as possible. The more you work with it, the tougher it gets and it's no longer flaky. Uh, so I added water until it was a good consistency knowing that I would use flour on my mat here and so uh, I didn't want it to dry out too much. I've rolled out my top and bottom crusts and I'm going to cover them with paper towels, wet paper towels so they don't dry out while I'm making the filling. This is just a little trick I learned. And I'm going to move this behind me uh, so we can get to making the filling and have room for that. Okay, we're ready to peel and core and slice the apples. And I actually have this handy um, machine that does that all for me and makes it super quick and easy. Voila. And so I will cut these in half again. oven. I've got the apples cut, the cranberries ready, ready, and the sugar flour mixture ready to go. And the recipe just says to layer them in here. So I will go ahead and do that. Okay, so the next steps are we're going to dot with butter and then grab the top crust and put it all together. So I actually make a 10 inch crust for a nine inch pie shell. So I have extra because I like a lot of extra um, crust on the ends here to have a really nice defined end crust. I'm just gonna flute it by cutting a decorative design in the middle. And now 
it's ready for the oven. So I think this is good. You can see it's bubbling, which is what's needed to help the filling set. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Unfortunately, I think the crust on the outside got a little too done, even though I had this thing on the whole time, but that's okay. We'll see what happens.